Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of real-world ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 21 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a researcher asking 120 people, giving them two choices. They preferred swimming in the pool, swimming at the beach. And so two out of 10 people preferred swimming at the beach. So we need to turn that into a proportion so we can find the total number of people. So we know two out of 10 preferred swimming at the beach, but we need the total number of people at the beach. So there are many, many different ways to solve this problem. So let me show you a few of them. I'm automatically going to start with a proportion here, right? So I'm going to say 2 out of 10. But what we need to do is we always need to be very careful to label each of these numbers. So 2 out of 10 people uh, at the beach. So I'm going to say 2 beach. And in my proportion here, my 10 is my total. I'm going to make an equivalent fraction so I can get a proportion here. And what do we know? We know there's 120 people total. That other total was just uh, just the ratio that they gave us. And I'm looking for how many people were at the beach. And so you notice in this particular proportion, I've matched up my two beaches across from each other in the numerators, my two totals across from each other in the denominators. When we get to this point, there are also a few things we can do. So they're equivalent fractions. So I'm thinking 2 times something equals 120, right? So I should think, okay, our 10 times something equals 120, that's 12. So I can multiply this by 12, and that's going to get me uh, my 24. Another thing I could have done at this point was I could have done some cross multiplication. I could have said 2 times 120 is going to equal 10 times my unknown. So that's 240 equals 10 times my unknown. And so I would need to divide both sides by 10, and that's going to give me my 24. Now, there's another way we could do that. You can also set up a proportion, but you could put your, your like terms in the same fraction. So two people like the beach out of 10 total. And I'm looking for an unknown amount of people that like the beach out of 120 total. So you can actually set this up both ways. The only way you can't really do it is if you've got um, your beaches and totals either have to be on top of each other or next to each other. They can't be diagonal from each other. That would mess it up. And so you're thinking, okay, we could do 2 times what makes 10, right? 2 times 5 makes 10, so let's multiply by 5. So I could say something times 5 equals 120, and well, you know what that is. That's going to be 24. Or you could also do a little bit of uh, cross multiplication here. But look, you're going to end up with the same thing. 2 times 120 equals that unknown times 10. So it ends up being the same thing. That's why it works both ways. There is a third way that we can do this, right? So I could convert this. into a decimal, because look at that, 2 tenths, right? Well, that equals 2 tenths. It's just right there as a decimal. 2 over 10 is 2 tenths. And that's the amount of people that liked the beach. So what I could do is I could actually multiply that by my total people, 0 0.2, and uh, multiply that, and let's get 2, 40 and zeros, so I'm going to get my 240, one digit behind the decimal, and I've got my 24. So there's three different ways that we can do it, and quite possibly there's even a fourth that we didn't discover here that you might have done on your own. Either way, our answer is going to be D, 24 people.